Robin Bremer on Walks with God, and I'm going, I'm just starting my prayer walk, and uh, I have no idea what God's going to talk to me about today, but I'm going to turn off the camera, and when he starts talking to me and sharing with me what's on his heart, um, I'll share it with you. Well, I'm just sitting here thinking and meditating and resting today. Today was one of those days where I was just, I was just praising God and thanking God, and I was just troubled by the things that I see in the world, the hate that I see in the world. Um, they hate because they don't know Jesus. They don't know God. They don't know how good He is. And I was just just meditating and thinking on that. God, you are so good. How can I reach these people? How can I show these people that you are a good God? That you're an awesome God. That you love them. That you did everything for them. So they could be healthy, that they could be wealthy, that they could be prosperous, that they could hear your voice, that they could have a relationship with you, Father, because you are so awesomely good. Just five seconds of feeling your manifest presence on our body changes us and we know you're real. And I was saying, God, how can I, how can I reach people? How can I tell them? How can I show them how good you are? <laughs> and he said to me, that you have the whole that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit and yes but he said the way people are drawn to him is when we realize that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit that God is in us and the Holy Spirit was sent to convict the world of their sins he took me to the scripture where um, when Jesus wherever Jesus walked that the demons inside the people would scream and say I know who you are what I have to do with you and were convicted of their sins and he said that that same Holy Spirit is inside of us and when we know that and we believe that where we walk his presence will be manifested when we talk to people shake their hands or around them they'll feel God and and I got really excited because I realized yeah that's right because Jesus is our example bringing the temple of God near them still does the same thing that it did in the Old Testament and the New Testament the Holy Spirit in us still draws people to Him. Okay, so God just said something really cool to me. He said, if you want to intensify His presence on you, that others will feel um, in their physical body that praise and thanksgiving. Because God says that praise and thanksgiving, He enthrones the praises of His people. And He said that the reason thanksgiving is all throughout the Bible and everything give thanks and be thankful uh, is because he said it's like grace that grace is God giving us something we don't deserve but when we give God thanksgiving we're giving him thanksgiving before we actually see it that we're thanking God and praising him because he's not a liar because he tells the truth and he gives us the answer to our problems and when we believe him we thank him and when we thank him it manifests itself so praise and thanksgiving and worship is so important in the Bible because it manifests his presence and that's what we need to do to magnify him in our body and I'm Robin Bremer and you're watching walks with God and I'm out